Hey guys, my name is Alex. Welcome to my channel. I really appreciate every single one of you that's come here to watch this video right now. As you might be able to tell, this channel is a new channel and it's still really trying to figure out its identity. So right now I'm just kind of testing around with a couple of different video types and seeing what sticks, seeing what I like to do, what you guys might like. So uh, if you do like the video, please go ahead and give it a like. If you have any comments, uh, suggestions for me as far as uh, maybe something to review next or uh, video editing advice or anything like that, what you might like to see, please let me know and I'll go ahead and try to incorporate as much of it as I possibly can. So without any further ado, I'm going to get right into the review. Alright guys, so here's the wallet. This is the Bellroy Hide and Seek in Caramel. It claims to be able to carry up to 12 cards. It has a hidden money pouch, a coin pouch, it's a bifold wallet, it's premium leather construction, uh, with this nice stitching around the edges and sports the Bellroy logo and a little metal emblem right there. This is how I carry the wallet every day. Um, as you can see with what I typically typically carry in it, it's uh, a little bit on the thicker side, um, but it is a, a very slim construction, um, which does cut back on the width a little bit over your, your standard wallet. So let's uh, open this up and take a look at what's inside. So the way that I'm currently using this, I've got about 11 cards in here um, at any given time, as well as 10 to 15 uh, bills. And as you can see, over on the right hand side here, there are three card pouches. Uh, each one of them is plenty capable of holding more than uh, one card at a time, I'd say even up to uh, two, or this top one here can even take a third, uh, being that it's got a slim back behind it. Uh, that being said, you want to be careful not to put too many cards in here, because it'll actually stretch out the pouch, and then if you want to carry fewer cards, it won't hold a, a single card very securely anymore. Over here on the left side, there's another card pouch, followed by a bit of a deeper pocket that goes inside of the wallet, a bit there and it allows you to carry quite a few things. Um, I find that very useful for um, you know your uh, less used items that you still want to carry on you every day. Uh, over in the back here there's a couple of pouches for some business cards or um, or coins or a note or something like that. You've got your main uh, cash compartment followed by the uh, standout feature of the hide and seek portion of this wallet so it's nice and hidden away you wouldn't really be able to tell that it's there very well just by looking at it at first glance you fold that up you can keep some money hidden in the back of this there's also a small pouch over here for either a card that you want to stow away or put some uh, coins in there or anything that uh, that you don't want immediately visible uh, personally I actually find this hide-and-seek function uh, both very Useful and annoying. I, I like to buy a lot of things secondhand, so having this uh, divider in here allows me to allows it to, me to make it look like I've got nothing in the wallet, uh, and then I can section out exactly how much cash I need on hand um, and keep it ready to go, so I don't need to be fumbling around with my wallet too long um, around some uh, some strangers that I've just met to go purchase something. So that, that is the wallet in itself, and as you can see, when it's got nothing inside of it, it's nice and flat, doesn't have too much material to it, it's very, very flexible, um, and it's, it's overall just a very slim design. This is one of the reasons that I chose this wallet. Like I said, I've been using this every day for about two months now, and just a few of the things that I've noticed so far on it is that on the corners here, there's a little bit of wear from it coming in and out of the pockets, and then on the inside of the wallet. It's obviously just a little bit of wrinkling and that should be expected um, on the leather uh, along the seam there, where it, on, along the crease where it folds. And in here, uh, where this hide and seek portion is, is actually where I found the, the biggest annoyance or maybe even slight flaw is that it, it tends to just fold over a little bit right in here. 
and and that fold, especially when you've got a, a couple of uh, a couple of bills in here, gets more and more prominent. And and if you don't consistently pat it back down and get it out of the way, it it, it will stay there for a while. And uh, and it it just gets in the way a little bit. It's it's nothing big, you know. It's not making me get rid of the wallet, but it's something that I think could be improved a little bit. Maybe a little bit of a different cut on this piece of leather here to make that a little bit better. But this wall also offers RFID protection, which is nice to have, especially this day and age. You never know uh, who could be trying to steal your information out of here. And from my research, it, it works. I've got no real way to actually test that. But I do gotta say that overall, I am pretty thrilled with this wallet. I'd say uh, 4.5 out of five so far. So I guess the overall question here is, should you buy this wallet? At the time of making this video, this wallet is selling for around $89, and its main competitor is uh, the Ridge Wallet, for, which is currently selling for about $85, and uh, I'll have a link to this in the description as well, so you can go and take a look at it for yourself. There is uh, plenty of other product offerings from Bellroy as well that would be a great competitor to this specific wallet. Overall though, I would say that if you're looking for something that is a slightly more minimal design than the traditional men's wallet, this is not a terrible way to go. It definitely saves a little bit of space in your pocket, it's a little bit more flexible and less bulky. Uh, meanwhile, it's not quite a minimalist wallet like the Ridge wallet might be. For me, it's really important to have something that just feels nice in the back pocket and that's something I, I feel that the Ridge wallet is lacking in. Although it's got a lot of cool features, I think that this is a little bit more practical and this is something that I plan to use every day for quite a few more years to come. Whether or not you agree or disagree with my review here, there's no questioning that this is a quality product made with quality materials. Um, I really think this brand knows what they're doing and I'm curious to see what they'll be selling in the future. So if you have anything to say about it, please leave it in the comments. I'll be happy to get back to each and every one of you. Like I said earlier, there'll be a link to this in the description below. Go ahead and let me know what you think I should review next. Hey guys, one last little thing I wanted to throw in here. I just wanted to let you know that what I'm reviewing here is something that I spent a lot of time researching myself before I purchased for myself. Uh, so I figured it's something that you guys might like to hear about on a personal perspective from somebody that's been using it for a while. Any product reviews that I will do on this channel will follow those same guidelines of items that I see useful for myself and I think that you guys might want to know more about after somebody has used them for a while. There's so much research that you can do on a new product, but really uh, in-person testimonials are the best way to understand what are the grapes of the product and what works well about them. So I'm just trying to get you guys the best information that I possibly can.